Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I am blessed. I am blessed exponentially. And you are too. If you're watching this, just look around you and truly like appreciate. Don't be, don't be greedy. Don't be um unappreciative, but be grateful. Be grateful and think of people that have it worse off than you. Be grateful. Be grateful. Even if your earthly situations are bad or they could be better or they have gotten worse, be grateful for where God will take you in the future. Be grateful for how holy, good, gracious, glorious your God even is. Imagine the, you know, if you're a good person, <laughs> imagine the the home that you have in heaven. Imagine what your room looks like in heaven. I'm tripping over wall or imagine what the walls will look like in heaven. Moving here, um, at first, like up until literally now, I was thinking, well, up until like the beginning of October or the end of September, I was thinking that moving here was a mistake. Moving here was a waste of money. I definitely, definitely overdid it with the money. Moving here was a waste of time. Moving here was um, selfish. Moving here was everything wrong. Moving here, I moved here for the wrong reasons. And then this month, came and I see myself getting into patterns that I like. I see myself getting on a strict school schedule and I see how my grades are reflecting that. I saw like the end of September, I was working hard. I thought I was doing everything right, but my mind was not on the right path. My mind was not um where God wanted me to be and my mind was not there. I might have been, you know, not doing anything bad, but what was I doing that was good? What was I doing that was right for myself? Now I I see it, my eyes are open, I am focused. Like my thing was what is working at this place gonna do for me? What is this school gonna do for me? I need a small business. That's what is like, that's how people my age in this society, that's how they make it with their businesses, with their, um, their creator, their content creator. Those are the type of people who make it out here. I have to get fit, get my body right, um, be cuter, do my makeup every day so I can become successful in this world. Um, I need money. I need to work harder. I need to work harder. I need to pay this, do that, do that, do that. But my mind, you know, my mind was not there. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have patience, to grow in wisdom, grow in faith with God. Listen to him. Listen to the things that he's telling you, the reassurance, the affirmations, the the steps, the everything. Listen to him. Listen to the words he say to you. What is God saying to you right now? God is telling me, Rennell, you hate college, but you want to be a speech pathologist. Forget these small businesses just for a second. It's time to grind. It's time to sit down and put 80% of your attention on to me. Well, put put 100% of your attention onto me and watch I will guide you and God like I had to take a breath take a step back take a Sabbath and think like okay God is telling me that I am getting in the way of myself I am getting in my own way by trying to do this that and the third God cannot how can he trust me with more how can he trust me with more blessings when I am ungrateful and unresponsible with the few that he has given me now so I have to do better. I have to grow in my mindset. God will continue to take from you until you are in a position to have nothing but him. So you don't have nothing but him. And all you will really ever have is him. And then your blessings will grow. Then you will get the things that you desire. Um, and you, even when you get them though, my thing is when I get them, I focus on them. I'm like, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. 
Now focus on them. But what, so what you should do is continue to be like, okay, thank you, God. I'm going to let you handle that. I'm going to let you handle that. But I'm going to keep my eyes on you. I'm, 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 I got this, but I'm going to give it back to you. And I'm going to just keep my eyes on you. That's what I learned to do now. Like, just accept the blessing. Be grateful for the blessing, but give it back to God. Keep everything in his hands. It's like, you know, you cannot be the driver here. You cannot be the driver here. It's so important to get out of the driver's seat. Don't just see what I was doing was I was the driver of the car and I put God in the passenger and I was just lean over and talk to him to see where we going. And I would still make mistakes. I was still speeding too fast or driving too slow or unfamiliar with where I am. But put God in the driver's seat because he know he is the all-knowing God. Put him in the driving seat and you'll get in the passenger. You get in the back seat if you got to. Like just just get out your own way. Just get out the way. Just be there for the ride. Be there for the ride. How submissive women are to men and um social media and uh what else are we submissive to? Everything, judgment, everything. We need an ab a more abundant amount of submission towards God. We submit to so much and humiliate ourselves so much, but how often or how much more do we humiliate ourselves for God, for to be a servant to God? We are serving to men. We're a servant to ourselves. We're a servant to everything but God. And if we do still consider ourselves a servant of God, we don't give God enough credit. And so where I am right now in life, I know I need to stop. I need to get out of my own way. I need to just focus on God, focus on God. And by focusing on God, another thing, I thought like, you know, I pray, I have conversations with God, I have a pretty good relationship with God. No, but educate yourself on his word. You cannot just depend on God's word, but not be able to hear him. Cause then you're always going to be stuck. You're always going to be confused. You have to dive into his word, listen to his Listen to those who he gifted with the ability to teach you. Learn from the God. Learn from the glory of God. Learn from the grace of God. Learn from the people of God. Learn from the word of God. Learn God. Stick with God. Stay with that. Just like, you know, stay with that aspect of if it's not God, I can't do it. I can't do it because I am on a, I'm grinding right now. I'm grinding on a path of glory. I'm grinding right now. If it's not God, I can't go. If it's not God, I can't, I can't listen to it. I can't think about it. I am trying to only hear the word of God right now. So that's my spiel. Um, I just think God is, well, I, I truly, believe God is good and I believe that God is faithful God is holy God is glory God is my father Jesus Christ died for every sin that I hold against myself he died so the God can forgive me I have to learn how to forgive myself that's what I'm saying I have to get out of my own way you too probably like we have to get out of our own way in all aspects because there's so many i thought i was out of my way in one aspect but i'm all up in my way in another aspect in all ways 100 percent move just move move out the way put god there just let him figure it out let him work it out let him solve that problem let him answer that question Leave it, leave it to God, cause you can't do it. You can't do it. Period. <laughs> I was gonna say you can't do it by yourself, but you can't do it. Period. God does it. God does it. God does it. God does it. And you know, I'm just a spirit. I'm just a spirit. I'm a spirit in a physical body. This is the body that God gave me. So I have to treat my body better. I have to appreciate the skin. Don't become obsessed with it. Do not become obsessed with it. But realize that this is the only physical representation that 
I have. This is my body. This body is Renell Hudson. My spirit is holy and belongs to God. This is the body that God has blessed me in. I have to realize that when I speak to people, they see this body, but I want them to see Christ. So what will come out of my mouth that will um, like blur what they see or to help curate what they see on the, outer, on the outside? How will this face correspond with God to others? If that makes sense. Like, so you stick with God, you walk with God, you understand God in your life. You understand God's role in your life, his relationship with you in your life and grow. You will grow. You cannot lose with God. You walk with God. You are walking with light in a world of darkness. And you will ultimately reach the feet of God. Happy Monday, y'all. I want to do better as a human. I want to do better as a Renell. I want to do better. I want to become better as a child of God. I want to do better. I want to become better. And I put, I, I promise God, God knows I will put all of my faith in him. If there's any part of me that does not put my faith in God, that is ignorance. And I pray that God rebuke ignorance for your sake. Please, Lord, rebuke ignorance for your children's sake. I, I do not want to come off as ignorant. I don't want to do anything that is outside of your will for me. I just want... I just want to do my part and to do it well. I remember I used to always say, like years ago, I used to always say that if the Bible was not finished, you know, like if it wasn't already written, I want to be an important figure in the Bible. I used to always say that, like, I want Rennell to be a name that people, like a story, a good story, you know, like a um, Esther. I want Renee. I want Renelle to be a name, like um, a Titus. I never got to the book of Titus, but I hear great things. <laughs> I want Renelle. You know, I was just wanting my name to hold weight in a in the greatest way, in the most um, what's the word? In in a great way to demonstrate faith, relationship, God. You know, like I want my name, even my my trials and errors i want it all to be a great testimony for someone else and for my god i want to just show i want to be good in god's eyes and i want that to reflect on others but the bible's already written so i want to do that with y'all like i can still do that my name can still hold weight in the world like um jackie hill perry yeah Jackie Hill Perry, um, Sarah Roberts Jakes. There's so many. Um, Joyce Meyer, like those type of women, those type of teachers, they inspire me. They inspire me and they guide me towards God. I can't think of anyone else. I wouldn't want to be like, I want to be like God. I want to be a res like when you see or hear that name, you think of God and I'm, I'm a great teacher. I'm understanding. I give, I keep, I'm, I have the ability to give you reassurance. Oh, God is, is working through me to help others. That's my goal. I will become a speech pathologist. And it's so important to, like, the, the main thing about um, the self is you can deceive yourself. Eve deceived herself into thinking that she could become like the creator. To think that she, that that the creator did not make her good and that she had to be better like him. The fact that you just, that whole situation. So, ah, oh, where, where was I going with that? Um, we just lie to ourselves so much. 
I completely forgot where I was going with that. See, I got too caught up into the <laughs> But the, the biggest lie we tell ourselves is that we are not enough and that we do not know who we are. We do know who we are. We're the child of God. We are um, made in his image. We are image bearers of Jesus Christ. We are image bearers of the Holy Spirit. We are image bearers of God, the God, the one and only God. We are image. He made us in his image. I cannot continue to tell myself verbally or in my head that um, that I'm not good enough, that I'm not pretty, that I need to work harder, that I'm not working hard enough, that I won't make it, that I'm struggling. You can't say those things to yourself, especially not early in the morning, child. You can't say, oh, I'm tired. Don't tell yourself that. Don't do that to yourself. That's nothing but the devil. Put the devil under your feet. Close him out. Shut the door. You are a child of God. That's all you need to say to yourself. Speak positivity, more positivity into your life than any type of negativity that you ever spoke, okay? Read books that inspire you. Listen to people that inspire you. Whether it's on YouTube, at work, in person, in a store, if that person is not speaking positivity onto you every time they open their mouth to you, that they need they need to work on themselves. You cannot be tangled with someone who brings you down more than they uplift you. You cannot. Oh my gosh, Renell, stop preaching, girl. Okay, so I'm really just talking. I, I'm I'm feeling the Holy Spirit. I'm inspired um because I'm listening to Sarah Jakes, Sarah Robert Jakes, and. I mean, it's just good. It just feel good to be here. It feel good to to be literally like in a percentage with the Holy Spirit and not just be all of me. Yeah, man, I just want y'all to be smooth out here. Know your purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, know the creator who gave you your purpose and know that he is holy. So stick with him so he can guide you into knowing what you were here, what you're put here to do. There's billions of us who are all so different and unique. God created us all. He knows our future. He knows our life. Stick with him and ask God, what do you what do you see in me? What do you want me to be? And he will give you answers. You know, it might not be right away, but listen for the voice of God. Listen to the words of God. I was praying to God like, oh, God, I am just not feeling it. <laughs> Something's not right. And for a literal, for a week straight, seven to eight days straight, the same message was coming to me because I follow God. I walk with God. I, I um, pay attention, give energy to those who walk with God, who understand God, who know God, who display God. And the same message kept coming back to me. This is the word of God. He was saying, reposition yourself get out of your own way move let me let me drive here move 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 move, move. i'm moving this week starts the week that i move out of my own way and yeah i'm moving out of my own way period thank you for listening to my little rant um i i really do want to become a teacher um like the influential women that I follow, I see that in myself that I want to become a teacher. But, you know, yeah, so. <laughs> um, but I'm not rushing it. I'm just going to stick with God and let him guide me. He knows my desires. He knows how he made me. Every aspect of myself that I see me leading this way, but I feel like God leading me that way. He's always going to choose the right way or to make a middle path. It's always going to work out. I don't even like, I can't stress about it no more. You know, like, I'm not going to think about it no more. I'm just going to leave it up to God and trust him. Trust God. Get out of your own way. Don't trust yourself. Don't trust yourself. Trust God. We are sinners. We cannot trust. We can't even trust ourselves. Trust God because he's holy. Okay, I'm going. Bye.